the daytime? I'm Marinette. Just a normal girl with a normal life. But there's something about me that's only possible because of who Ladybug is to the people of Paris. A lot of people see her as a symbol of hope. As someone who would never give up. It may feel like a burden sometimes, but I guess it comes with the territory. We all need someone we can look up to. Someone who helps us get a grip on things, especially in hard times. Someone who reminds us that whenever we seem to lose hope, giving up is not the solution. Don't be bemused, it's just the news. Today, Mayor Bourgeois launches his new Paris cleaning strategy, supported by a squad of new and expensive innovative cleaning robots. Mayor Bourgeois seems to be intent on putting an end to, and I quote, an unsightly and stinky flying rodent problem. Mr. Pigeon 68, I may have given you your power so you could take your revenge on Mayor Bourgeois and his shameful robots, but in return, I'll bring you Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculous. Breaking news. Mayor Bourgeois' Operation Clean Paris has just been sabotaged by none other than the infamous villain, Mr. Pigeon. He just deployed an army of ominous pigeon bots that are causing havoc in the city. Once again, Paris is relying on our beloved superheroes, Ladybug and Cat Noir. Mr. Pigeon? Again? Cataclysm! <laughs> Looks like your reserve army has just fled the battle zone, Mr. Oh, Pigeon. No! Lucky Charm! Huh? What am I supposed to do with this? Got it! For you, little Akuma. Time to de evilize! Gotcha! Bye bye, little butterfly. Miraculous Ladybug! What happened? Where am I? I guess the show's over. Only when the music stops. And I'm the DJ here. Lucky Charm! Okay. Kanoar, the board! Gotcha! doing for you, little Akuma. Time to de-evilize! Gotcha! Bye-bye, little butterfly. Miraculous Ladybug! What happened? Found it! Rich. 
That's it, early cat. Now I'll smell like a wet dog. Lucky charm! Shampoo? Come on, out of the park, Cat Noir! Watch and learn, my lady. <laughs> Yes. My eyes! My <laughs> eyes! I can't see a thing! Yeah. No more evil doing for you, little Akuma. Time to de evilize! Gotcha! Bye bye, little butterfly. Miraculous ladybug! Hey, what's going on here? Found it! Lucky Charm! Okay, that's unexpected. System failure? No, this can't be! I'll allocate more memory to the recovery system. No! Evil doing for you, little Akuma. Time to de evilize. Gotcha. Bye bye, little butterfly. Miraculous ladybug. Well, where am I? I'm sorry, Kagami, but we have reasons to believe that you're not, well, exactly yourself. As if. And what makes you say that? Well, it may sound a bit strange, but there seem to have been sightings of people who... I knew it! Chloe? What happened to you? Uh, uh, it's Clonica to you, Alley Cat! Why, Chloe? Why put so much effort into upsetting people all around town? None of this would have ever happened if you had given me the Be Miraculous in the first place, Ladybug! It's all on you! Snap out of it, Chloe! You're not thinking straight! You've been akumatized! Except that I am akumatized willingly! Eventually, someone realized I had potential, see? Hawk Moth can't be trusted in any way. If he granted you such power, it means he's playing you in a bigger game. I don't care about his intentions. I just enjoy doing what I'm good at. Yeah! <laughs> and what's that? Making innocent people's lives miserable? It was pretty easy, you know. All I needed to do was take pictures of random people. Then I could generate clones and control them from a distance. You should have seen Max's face when he saw his friends tear down his game right in front of him. <laughs> okay, that's enough, Chloe. <laughs> Cataclysm! <laughs> I guess flying doesn't come with your superpowers. Not so fast, Clonica!
return to Sender! Yes! No more evil doing for you, little Akuma. Time to de evilize! Gotcha! Bye bye, little butterfly. Miraculous Ladybug! Found it! Now, I hope you understand why I was reluctant to give you the Bee Miraculous. Ridiculous! Utterly ridiculous! Anyone with eyeballs can see I'm the victim here! <sighs> wretched Ladybug! Wretched Chloe! What is that? Go hide, Chloe. It's not safe. Hey, you don't tell me what to do, Ladybug! Chloe! Lucky charm! Huh? Now! Got it! Back off now, you two. I won't let you harm my precious Senta monster. So you're behind it all, my Yura. Precisely. And it all ends here. Now give me your miraculous, or I'll have my caterpillar gobble you up in one bite. Cataclysm! Sha! There's no time to go down there. Let's take a break and catch up when our batteries are full. Read my mind, milady. Hang in there, Chloe. We're coming for you. Found it! How long has it been, Natalie? For years we have left no stone unturned on the entire planet. And still, no sign of the Ladybug or the Cat Miraculous. I've gone over all the possible scenarios about their location, Gabriel, but none of them have proven effective. It would seem that these two specific Miraculous don't want to be found. That sounds ridiculous, Natalie. But it stands to reason that none of our strategies have borne fruit. Not in the slightest. Rest assured, my motivation is intact, Gabriel. Still, I must admit I am really running out of options or ideas. I failed you. I failed your family, and for this I apologize. There's nothing I want more in this world than to see you and Adrian happy again. But I'm afraid it is beyond my competence, beyond your wealth, beyond your admirable will, and beyond anything you and I could ever do. Beyond? Beyond. Don't apologize to me, Natalie. My trust in you is complete and unaltered. Besides, I'm the one who owes you. What kind of madness would I have drowned into if you hadn't been here all this time? Therefore, I'd like to offer you this pendant, Natalie. As a token of my gratitude and my affection for everything you've done for me and for this family. Gabriel. This is unexpected. I... I don't know if I can. Please, just accept it. Thank you, Gabriel. I will make sure I'm up to the trust you have placed in me. I don't know what will become of us from now on, but rest assured, I am still determined to find the missing Miraculous. I... I will double my efforts. I'll not rest until we get our hands on these Miraculous. 
I promise. There isn't much you can do, I'm afraid. You already played your part. And now, it is my turn to act. Beyond. I must go beyond my initial condition. Embrace the power that's already at my hand, so I can aim for more. Gabriel? Only a Miraculous can lead the way to another Miraculous. You said earlier that it seems the Ladybug and the Cat Miraculous don't want to be found, right? I did, but... So be it! Instead, I will go beyond my mere human limitations. Beyond what my soul holds me back to do. Beyond people's judgment. I'll do anything. Anything! Stop searching. Go beyond? What do you mean? I'm not following. That's right. I'll make it so that the miraculous come to me. And I know exactly how. Parisians' despair was just the appetizer. Chloe was the main course. And what are we? Desserts? What do we do now? Just stick to the plan. What plan? Run! Don't tell me that's what I think it is! Hurry! To the top! Yuck. No sign of the Scented Monster. And no sign of Chloe either. This can't be good. Greetings. I should praise you for your sense of dramatic timing. Behold the Sphinx! The face of your demise, Ladybug and Cat Noir. Now do you understand why I wouldn't have missed this for the world? Spare us your theatrics, Hawk Moth. Just tell us where Chloe is. Chloe is safe. How heroic of you to worry about her in spite of everything she's done to you. Heroic? But pointless. You used her like a pawn. And for what? To come up with another Scented Monster? You know we'll beat it like we always do. There seems to be something of a misunderstanding. The Sphinx was not meant for you. It was meant for the people of Paris! See? Soon it will fly over the city and spread its toxic powder, imprisoning every single Parisian into a stasis of despair and sorrow forever! No! These people did nothing to you! Actually, there is a way you can avert this crisis, Ladybug and Cat Noir. And that is by handing over your Miraculous to me! You really think that after seeing you take advantage of your power, we'd give up our Miraculous? We'd never allow you to harm even more innocent people! <sighs> so be it. Then my Sphinx will beat the two worthless pawns that you are in one single strike! Checkmate, Ladybug and Cat Noir! Cataclysm! Right? I saw you breathing that powder. Say something! I'm sorry, kitty cat, but I can't. I'm exhausted. We're out of our league here. Don't give up now, milady. It's pointless. Hawk Moth is too strong. Fight it out, Ladybug! These are not your real thoughts. What's the point, anyway? We always fight. On and on. We fight endlessly. Because there's always evil out there that needs to be stopped. And if we don't stop it, who will? I'm not cut out to be a superhero, Cat Noir. The truth is, I just want to be a normal girl. We might as well just give up. No!
Don't move. You're right, Ladybug. What's the point of it all? There's been too much fighting. And too many people have suffered because of this conflict. You have the opportunity to make it stop, Ladybug. Everything could end tonight. Now, give me your miraculous. Let me take that burden off of you. See that, Ladybug? There are thousands in the streets marching toward the Eiffel Tower to support you. Everyone in this town believes in you. They haven't given up on you. And I haven't given up on you. It doesn't matter. I'm afraid Ladybug's already made up her mind. Am I right? Come on, Ladybug! Don't let us down! We all need you! <laughs> Let's wrap this up, Cat Noir. You know the drill. Yeah! Lucky charm! Sunglasses? At night? Hmm. Cat Noir, do you know what no butterfly in the world can resist? Romantic flowers? Yes, but what they like the most is to feast on light. What are you doing? <laughs> Through darkness comes the light. <laughs> Where are you going with this? Come on, Ladybug. Let's end this. Ladybug! <laughs> 